Have you ever asked yourself how you can automate your processes to achieve an improvement? Then we have the answer for you. Today we'll show you how you can use SAP Signavio to gain valuable insights into your processes and then improve them quickly and easily with SAP Build Process Automation. The first step is to set up the integration between SAP Build Process Automation and SAP Signavio. This is super quick. All you have to do is insert and save the service key of the build instance on the business technology platform and the IPI key of SAP Build Process Automation in Process Intelligence. You can see how to get the service key here. Next, you need to create the API key. To do this, navigate to the corresponding area via the control tower and generate a new key. Make sure that you check the fields for trigger read and trigger execute. Copy the key and paste it into process intelligence. Click on create and the connection is established. Next, you can see what you can do now with this new integration. For example, in Process Intelligence, you can see at the very first glance that many orders are blocked in this purchasing process, which means that they cannot be processed further. A classic backlog. You can now automate these cases with Build Process Automation to ensure that they are released as quickly as possible. This is where the project is created in SAP Build Process Automation. We create the workflow now. Now the API trigger is added. This ensures that this workflow is triggered when a blocked invoice appears. Now we create a form. The subject and the user or user group are mandatory fields for the form. Next, we compile the components of the form. The form shows me the number of the invoice that is blocked. I also added a link to be directed to the archive where the invoices are stored. Finally, we define the data to be used in the workflow and tell the form that the invoice number should be displayed in the free field. As a final step, we need to define in SAP Signavio Intelligence 
which information and for which events this information is transferred to SAP Build Process Automation. In Process Intelligence, navigate to the Actions menu item and select Create. Then fill in the fields and select the process for which you want to define an action. Then insert an SQL statement that defines exactly when an action should be triggered. Here, for example, when invoices are blocked. Then select Build Process Automation as the task type and the trigger that you have previously defined in Build Process Automation and map the parameters between Signavio and Build Process Automation. Click Create and start the action in the Action menu. And here is the inbox. The created form now arrives, including the invoice numbers that are affected. We hope these guidelines help you. Have fun developing!